So in this video, let's talk about one possible proof of the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, here's what we want to prove. We want to prove that if we have a right triangle, and if the legs are, we'll call A and B, and if the hypotenuse is C, then we want to prove that a squared plus b squared must equal the square of the hypotenuse, c. So the method that we're going to use today is we're going to copy this right triangle four times so that when we connect them like this, <clears throat> it creates a square in the center. And we're going to use the argument of area. So, for example, the area of the full square here is just side length times side length. And the side length here is a plus b. So, a plus b times a plus b is the area. And so that becomes a plus b squared. Now, let's write the area of the entire square a little bit differently. So how many of these right triangles do we have? Well, we have four of them. And the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. And so part of the area would be 4 times 1 half AB. And so that would represent the area of all four of these right triangles. And then we have to add in the area of the square in the center. And so that's C times C, which is C squared. Now, it turns out that 4 times a half is 2, and so I end up with 2AB plus C squared. That represents the full area of the entire square, and so does this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. And so I'm going to take A plus B times A plus B. First 2 is A squared. Outer 2 is AB, inner 2 is AB, last 2 is B squared, and so I get the following equation. This connects, this is 2AB and on both sides of the equation I have a common term, I have 2AB on both sides. So using the subtraction property of equality, we can subtract that off and look at what we're left with. a squared plus b squared must equal c squared. And so this is one possible proof of many of the Pythagorean theorem. Just remember, the Pythagorean theorem only works on right triangles. So it doesn't work on any other type of triangle. It's got to be a right triangle for the Pythagorean theorem to work. God bless you, wherever you are today.